Hmm. We kind of need to go back to base because I need to get some kelp to make med packs and heal myself because I've kind of gotten a bit scrungled. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't like being scrungled. They say it is not good for your health. Hmm, let's see. Big things we're missing. Spiral coral, torch, and uh, I can unpin the prawn suit actually. I think it's just spiral coral and torch. Those are the things we are missing. Ah! Hmm. probably a whole other half we haven't been going so we will go the opposite direction of our normal base to scout out a whole new region to see if we can find the stuff we are missing all right now while i'm over here a whole bunch of creep vines so we can make some med packs got a tick got a choom got a tick got a choom hmm keep an eye out for anything vaguely spiral-esque Give it a good old whack. A bit of a, a, bit of a stab. A, kind of a what for, you know? Maybe I can make my own spiral coral by just kind of spinning fast enough. You know? Maybe that's all it really needs. You just spin. You just spin, spin, spin. Let me try and give a stabbing to some of the bridge coral. Just, uh... Alright. Had to make sure. Oh. While I'm down here, I'm gonna grab these ribbon plants. Guess I need to make some power cells. All right, synthetic fiber. And then we make some med kits. Nice. Um, put those ruined plants in here. You get some food. Hydrate. I can do that, Glottal. And stretch. Ugh. Really, really pulling my tail here, Caracal. Ugh. Ugh. All right. We need to get some fish to eat and drink. Yes, we will drink a fish. Because apparently it's easier to synthesize potable water out of a fish than it is to just like desalinate the water around us. Hmm. 
I don't know. I just, uh, just don't question these things. One thing I am glad is our starting base place uh, has infinite energy. Uh, certainly got annoying sometimes crafting with the uh, starting place in the first game is running out of energy, uh, especially like when you're initially building some of the higher tier materials. If you haven't made a base with like some ion reactors and other such nonsense, uh, can be a bit of a bugger. To build everything. All right. Now, that has been our usual base way to go. So we are going to go the opposite direction. Gonna kind of go over here and see if that leads us to new lands that contain spiral coral. Coral? What kills people? Help forests, those are pretty terrifying. Thankfully, we are safely ensconced within our ship. What is this? Looks like an alien power connector of some flavor. Where are you going? I might have already walked around on this thing. What is that? Hmm. Huh. Huh. I jelly. Ooh. All right, we're finding new stuff. That's a good sign. Hopefully it's not called eye jelly because it, it eats your eyes. That would kind of suck. Violet Snow Cone. That's an amazing name for a plant. Pouch Bulb. All right, that's kind of weird. Um, all right, let's not leave our ship behind. I didn't realize I left my ship that far behind. Yeesh. Oh, uh, it seems like there's going to be more things to discover over here. Nope, I already scanned you, apparently. And... Night in Subnautica is always a treat. It's always so many bioluminescent entities. Quite pretty. Beautiful. A treat for the senses. Ooh, that's a big one. 
Does it have its own entry? No. Hmm. I feel like I, if I touch the bottom parts, it'll damage me. They are a jellyfish, after all. Hmm. Let's see, we do have some kind of machinery over here. So it's worth gandering. Climb up over here. Just drop these accidental snowballs I keep picking up. Ooh. This artifact could provide useful information. Processing. An ion cube. Nice. Curved spires, beavered pepper. Wait, can I eat them? Oh, it gives me body heat. Interest. Spicy edible pepper. Nice. Tasty. Toasty. I eat the pepper. Hmm. Steam vent. I see. Hmm. For making temperature a resource, you have to be mindful of as well. They sure do provide you a lot of ways of getting warm. Uh, it kind of negates needing to juggle it, if I'm being honest. Like every few steps, you get another plant that is exothermic or uh, you find a plant that you can eat for body heat. Or you just take a quick dip back in the water and you're back at full heat. I don't know. I feel like if you're going to have it, you either should lean into it or not really have it be a thing. Or like maybe, maybe gate areas off by temperature, like things are gated by... Uh, depth modules because in the first game you know there was like the lava section and until you got the heat resistant suit you could get uh, way too toasty in it so you know having to build an arctic suit to get into certain areas that were, were that are colder for certain progression I don't know I get more punishing later they may be introducing managing and being aware of it point Maybe. We shall certainly see. All right, so I want to get to the other half. Since it seems like I can't find a way to the top. I'm wondering if I go to the other side, activate the bridge. Oh, what do you got, Alan? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever. To the next generation. Isn't that Warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? 
efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Hmm. Stop picking up snow! Eat the pepper. Uh, let's see, is this our way up? Doesn't feel like it. Oh, I can parkour a bit. Let me go around this way. Is the switch back? Not really? I think the real path is just going in through here. Beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire robotics center. Okay. Let's eat some more peppers. Delicious. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 Ooh. Marbled anemone. Amen, amen, and and many. Ice stalagmite. All right, cool. Interesting. Ooh. More peppers. Delicious. Oh, these things again. I see. Pathfinder tool. Sure. Hmm. Ow. Well, butts. Oh, it's just titanium sitting right there. All right. I mean, I'll... Sure. Why not? Ooh. What are you? Frosted sinew tree. That's... Ominous. That tree is ripped! Just a giant fist launches itself out of the tree. Watch out! All right, I got some creepy music. Cool, cool, cool. The fuck? Inventory full. Uh, sure. Not like I need all this titanium at the moment, so we'll be fine. All right, let's see what happened at the Phi Robotics Center. Ooh, Wawa. Phi Robotics. This is where Sam worked. Hmm. Things don't seem to be working very well. Snow Fox Hover Pad? New Rapid Snow Repair Return. Interesting. Ooh, a battery. I will always gladly take advanced materials. Dang it, we are not forklift certified. We can't, uh, we can't operate it. Sure, it would have made moving some of these things around much better, but, you know, safety first and all that. Wait, I literally have to learn the blueprint for large room? Okay. I guess large rooms were just too dang efficient in the first game, maybe? I saw my scanner light up on something. Where is it?
sure. I'll eat a pepper to make room for fiber mesh, I guess. Ooh, power cell charger. Definitely need that. Hmm. All right, can't open that door. Sucks to be me, I guess. Oh, it's just scanning a bench. I see, because I don't know how to make benches. Right, sure. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Oops, didn't mean to fall down. What do we have over here? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Indubitably. Eat a pepper. Take a mesh. All right, so we have a portal. That's cool. Architect teleporter. I do not have a cube and nor does it look like I can power it from this end. So very well then, very well then. Brave of them to build a facility inside an iceberg though. Seems a little dangerous, but what do I know? I'm not a scientist. Uh, is that all that's over here? Um, where is that snow fox? Recharges and repairs snow fox hover bike. Well, I can't build a snow fox, so kind of putting the fox before the cart here. Um, how about in here? Sam loved working here with your spy penguins. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This must have been Sam's room. Something's not right. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? Hmm. Oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research? Oh, shit. I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. Fucking weapons research. That's as much as I can tell you. <laughs> on something that wiped out galaxies of I, life. I need to think. I have to go. Yikes. Aquarium. Old suit. Nice. Large filtered water. All right. Drink a non large filtered water. Synthesized. First aid kit. Zeta's bed. 
All right. What is? Oh, they didn't have a voice log? That's annoying. Hold on. Databank. Um, not that. What? I literally just picked it up. What? Is it Altera? Altera personnel? No. No. Is it news? No. Sam? No. Personal log? No. Where'd that PDA I just picked up go? What the f what the frick frick nick nick patty whack give a dog a bone? This old serpent's going home eventually. Alright, let's check for that cold suit blueprint real quick. Oh, we can remote controlled observation robot. Interesting. I didn't think I would be able to make the spy pengling. That's kind of cute. Laser cutter. Still can't build it. Love that for me. Not actually, though. I hate it. Snow stalker fur. I see. Well, I'm sure that doesn't mean anything. Hmm. Stretch and hydrate. Fine! Fine. Do I got Leone? What are you doing this fine evening? What is this? Let's drop some more titanium. Combined with a frozen water sauce, water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Combine with snowball to create drinkable water. Interesting. Ah. Ah. Oh, I see. We have the snow fox. We just need one fragment. No, we need three fragments. Let's see. If y'all want a pretty cool place, y'all should check out Leone because they are an amazing. Pro Why does it pop that up? Why did it shout out Glottal? What the fuck? Streamer bot, that's fucked up. Just because one's a caracal and one's a lion doesn't mean they're the same type of cat. All right, that's specious, streamer bot. It's very rude of you. Leone is got a lot of amazing people in their orbit, and it is always a fun time whenever you see them live. Is there anything else out here I can muck with? Oh, I still need to scan them. I think. Maybe I did scan them. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. I am the danger.
No, I wanted to go up. Yes. Puppies. Good shit. Ooh. Ow. Really wish I'd stop taking random damage. That would be nice. Nutrient block. Sure. Just eat a pepper. Take a nutrient block. Eat a pepper. Take a nutrient block. This water. Could be. The ice. Frost vase. Interesting. Like an internal cave system. Not sure it took me anywhere I wanted to go, however. Serious. Uh, killing me here. Almost. Ryan. Ooh, sparkly. That's kind of pretty. We don't need no flare you cation. We don't need no heat control. I need to watch out that I don't fall down. Noted. Oh, sirs, there's a bit of inclement weather here. Quite dangerous. All this hail! Could cause quite some damage if it hit you in the noggin. Approaching. Seek shelter. Mother! Hmm. All right, fine. I'll get inside this cave. Oh, this is like the cave I initially came in on, isn't it? I see. Right. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! Doggy! Doggy! Ooh, snow stalker. I need your fur. Be not alarmed. Bear like? Oh, no. Hmm. Bright light will deter attacks. I see. Well, I need some of your fur. Can I get it without hurting you? Oh, fuck! No. In fact, it will hurt me very much. 
Oh, how the fuck do I get Snow Stalker fur then? I need that boots with the fur. Maybe I can like gather it on the ground. Hmm. Hey, Dweki. Hey, Frost B. We are in a bit of an icy situation, so this is probably your natural habitat. I hope you're having a good evening. All right, it seems to have fallen and it cannot get up, but I don't know how I can get some fur off of it. Bring it on! And good you live here. <laughs> All right. Ole. All right. Bring it on, bear. All right. All right. All right. I think we got this. All right. 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 Trying to trying to bait the attack. Trying to bait the attack. Oh, and it's down for the count. Uh Why can't I get fur? Oh, come on. Don't tell me I slew it for nothing. Are you fucking with me? Well, now I just feel bad. Man. Oh. Okay, for a second there I thought I was like, oh no, it took me with it. Also, I should save. It's been a good long while since I saved. Um, copper ore, actually. Eh, we're fine on ores. Really what I need are diamonds. Wait, is that magnetite? Oh shit. Oh fuck yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Hold on. I need to make room. We need to grab as much magnetite as we can. Oh, I didn't realize. Man, these these icebergs be having all kinds of metals. That was my friend Kenneth. Um Kenneth is just taking a nap. They're Fine. Citation needed. Finally go back to the stream. Oh no! Well, I hope things are okay, Aussie land. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I can't seem to get that. Get in my inventory! Hydrate. Fine. And you're probably like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't need snow! I need materials. Yeah, see, Kenneth is just, uh, they're just taking a nap. They're just, just taking a nap in the hole. You know, it's as one does. Ah! Hey, tapes! Welcome on by! Oh, man, this place is just rich in ores. Like, damn, copper, silver, magnesium? Uh, I almost want to put, like, a fucking bacon here, because this shit is stacked. Uh -oh. Ah! This guy is trying to kill me. Uh, so now we're going to see. Um, 
you look closely, I think you can find snow here. Yeah, we can find too much dang snow. And I throw it. Ha! Um. Kinda not really in a in a in a show art phase at the moment. Tapes. Uh, so probably probably not right now, but I'm certainly. Uh, happy for the excitement. It's always nice whenever a finished piece comes out that you're happy with. I certainly went through a couple designs for character sheets before I ended up on my current one. There was one I felt really miffed because uh, I had seen like their sample work was really nice and I thought would fit the style I was gonna the Mesoamerican style I was gonna go for um, and they had done some a lot of like Yu-Gi-Oh sort of styled characters so I thought it would like be up their alley and you know it, it would be fine and they had done a um they'd done a Mesoamerican adjacent uh, style sheet, you know, so it's like in that general vibe. And I liked I like the style of their art, but um, I don't know if it's a miscommunication on my part or if I just I don't know what happened, but it was not the end product I was hoping for. So I ended up looking for some other options. And just him. Yeah, I can take a look at it later. Oh god! Oh god! I guess get a, Do I have any peppers? I don't have any peppers. Uh, I kind of. Ow! 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 Love your character design. Thank you. All credit to the amazing artists that uh, brought it to life. Sometimes things just work. Yeah. Okay, I think we've pretty much exhausted this area. Um. Let me get, what was I doing? One. Um, wait, am I at the top area? Ooh, what's this? Snow Fox. Dangerous Interesting. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Dangerous weather, I am the dangerous weather. Oh, hey, Kona. Welcome on in. Uh, I'm sorry your uh, VR Subnautica um, didn't didn't work. It 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 seemed like it was going to be so cool, um, but maybe maybe another time things will pan out. Um, I'm going to freeze to death because I wasn't paying attention. And flashbang as we white out and die. But uh, Kona, uh, you have been going through shenanigans all day. Uh, so I hope you can now kick back, relax, and, you know, leave a piss, take a water, um, all that goodness. Holy fuck, we lost a lot of inventory. No shot. It didn't happen. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You can hear now. Well, if you didn't hear me earlier, Kona, uh, this is uh, this is your opportunity to go leave a piss and take a water because uh, you you've been dealing with shenanigans all day.
Um, stretch. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so we need to scan the Arctic Fox piece fragment. And then I need to not freeze to death. Not the gnomes, they'll freeze to death. They're earth, they're earth creatures. They can't handle the cold. Ooh. Wait, is that a steam vent? Can I warm up? <laughs> it's an Alaskan gnome. Ah, I see. Oh, wait, is there a town actually named Gnome Alaska? That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. I got. I got weird vibes off Pal World. It's not really gonna be. Ah! Oh man, you got a whole bunch of slug cats. You got a drecky dog. You even got some uh 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 a drecky 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 cookie down there. Sheesh! That is a fistful of stuff. All right. Okay. Wait. I warm up here? No. Um, I do have a pepper. Kind of bad vibes. Um, I don't know. Just some of their some of their presentation of stuff just doesn't sit well with me. Um, stuff like on the Steam page talking about. Having your pals build a pyramid and don't worry about labor laws because they don't exist in Pal World, which is kind of yikes to be on the front page of your game for me. Um, but also pyramids just kind of have very tech bro -y implications to me. And uh, I just kind of got that just kind of a weird vibes. I've never really been a huge Pokemon player either, so it's like I'm, I don't really have a lot of investment in the genre. I would prefer not to break my legs. I'm going to break my legs. Fuck it. Ow. It's also worked on an AI art game before Pal World and the CEO is a big crypto advocate. Ah, I am not surprised. Yeah, it's like Ark, but Pokemon. I don't know. It's got a lot of stuff that gives me kind of like squints my eyes at. Uh, and I've got I got plenty of other games that I'm much more uh, uh, in tune with to, to queue up. Um, I don't know. I haven't really been playing a lot of games with, with shooting and stuff. Actually, I think I kind of, kind of talked, uh, at the start of stream. Sort of been, kind of been examining a lot of the stuff that I play, uh, Just holistically. Um, there was a... Uh, both because, like, so a lot of the games I've been playing have been, like, very, I would say, hopeful, cozy games, like... Um, Kalos 2, or... Um, Terra Nil. Uh, 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 generally very positive vibes, positive energy kind of games, and um, I was also thinking of um, when I played, uh, there's a board game I, I really like, uh, Spirit Island, and I came across a uh, podcast sort of thing uh, that was talking about um, board games with uh, decolonization themes um, and stuff, 
and they had a lot of interesting points uh, discussing it critically. Um, but one of the things in their closing that they're talking about is like how so many board games you have like conflict as you know the conceit like you have to fight each other you have to you have to kill as a part of the game loop and it would be kind of nicer if there were more games where that wasn't necessary um and it's just kind of gotten me to sort of think about some of those things um and like the fact that power world is like arc but with pokemon and guns like the and guns is just like I don't know. It just doesn't sit very well with me. Arc had guns? I not I did not know it had guns. I had not played Arc very long to be honest. I played Arc way too long ago. Like probably the first year that it was publicly available. Um with just a couple friends and then things fell apart and then I just never revisited it. And laser got, okay, wow. Arc, Arc got very silly apparently at the later, later stages. Um, so, uh, we do have magnetite now. Now what, were the blueprints I needed Magnetite for that I was ignoring because I thought it was going to be a much later game thing. Um, we're still SOL on the bike and it hovers. Interesting. So we can build that. That's cool. I presume the Snow Fox is for checking out all the surface stuff, though. Um, go away, jellyfish. Uh, we're missing the spiral coral still, which is annoying. Sucks to suck. It's me. I'm the one who's sucking. Um, what needed magnesium? Or magnetite? Scanner room upgrades. Right. Oh, can we get the scanner room module? Hold on. Hold on. Are we cooking? You know what? It's going to be faster if I just go back to base. Yeah, we'll just go straight back to boop boops and check it out. That's is such an overwrought source of conflict in games and media. It's interesting when you have other things that drive tension, like whether resources here in the game or personal relationships, or can you spot this bird or something? I still love games like Devil May Cry because of how they let you interact with various systems, but the actual let's fight stuff part of it has no resonance with me. Yeah. Yeah. But from the scene, you don't have to kill in this game. Uh, no, 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 I mean, no, nah. Th this game, I would say, is very generally positive and like, yeah, there's some silly capital. There's some silliness capitalism in its oblique references to Altera now and then, but it's not really in your face very much. Um, this game being a much more focused storyline in Sub-Zero certainly feels a little bit more front and center, but they're less like super cartoony. Still a little silly, but not as cartoony. What the fuck is this? What the fuck are you? Oh, this is the radar. I've already been here. Uh, I didn't notice recently the games I've been playing have just been automatically been going away from violence and stuff. A ton of fun indie stuff. Oh, you mean Power World? Huh. You're in a harsh environment. Sometimes you have to do harsh things to stay out. Yeah.
I don't know. And there's also just a lot of really uncomfortable uh, uh, stuff surrounding it. Like, I know there was a major clip that blew up from someone trying to use the Pokeball on a person and it working. And the kind of people that saw that as, ooh, interesting, um, tend to not be the kind of people I want to associate with. Because there's people that don't... I don't know. There's... Sure, there's space to to be critical of certain systems or to play act out things, but it's I feel like it's dangerous to to even have those kinds of things like it's already hard enough crossing or walking the divide when depicting historical scenarios in balancing between accuracy and um, making it clear how inappropriate it is um, and people who don't think about that or don't walk that very well have a very big risk of reinforcing it it's sort of like the paradox of satire is you know people taking things straight um, you know People might miss the message if you're trying to be too subtle and too too, uh, too clever about the metaphors you're running with. If people like the game still, people just like the funny crafting in Pokemon. Mm. Can you say that? Yes. Uh, you can capture people. And it literally says... Uh, uh, yeah. Um warning passing 100 meters oxygen efficiency decreased Yes yes you can and then uh you can butcher them so it's just really yikes Uh I think the the person with the big clip that blew up was pirate software was usually pretty had some pretty good stuff when it comes to game dev. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel because there's certainly a lot of people. It's it's a popular game, and so there's a lot of people playing it. Some of it because content brain rot. Some people really like it and they just look past it. Some people just check out when it comes to general moral quandaries in Pokemon games because Pokemon-esque games are all kind of fucked up, which, I mean, that certainly is a choice. I don't really know exactly where I'm, I'm feeling ultimately on the thing. I just feel like I kind of need to digest things. All right, so we need to build. We don't need to, but I'm fucking gonna. Uh, scanner room range upgrades. Do I even have that as a thing? Yeah. This is darkest dimension. Yeah. Yeah, that was another thing I read about was like someone who sells pals having literal torture implements in their house. And it's like, haha, this is so, you know, dark. Haha, implications. But it's. Come on, man. Still no fucking spiral coral. Where the fuck is it? Ah! All right, we're gonna have to build another um, scanner room. It's obviously not over here. Uh, before that, can I build a computer chip? Do table coral. Yes, I can. So, first we get copper wire. Stop sitting on the coral. <laughs> I'm s spiralizes your coral. All right, so scanner room HUD chip. This is a very sweet upgrade and will pay dividends. That's fucked up, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. 
All right, so swap out some bat trees. Leave that in there. Um, we can dump all this bollocks in here because I can. Um, we're good on food with the nutrient bar. Um, don't need these batteries though. I think all of this is full. 